Hello, I'm Sébastien Marinier, uh, speaking for Arwa. Arwa is a Nextcloud partner and is a French company that provides installation, configuration and hosting management service for open source collaborative solutions like Nextcloud, Corabora, uh, Jitsi, Blue, Big Blue Button, messaging solution and so on. It also develops and contributes to Nextcloud. It is a, I have a Larsen problem, no? No. It is a creator and maintainer of an application named Workspace. The idea is uh, here to share our, our use case of a takeover of a Nextcloud application source code. Big blue button integration. You probably know it in a Nextcloud um, store. So indeed, as BBB on Nextcloud integrators, uh, our wow were, uh, was asked by one of uh, its clients to bring some new feature into the BBB Nextcloud application, which was to bring some new features. So we discussed it with its creator and main contributor, Klaus Herbert, with his original uh, creator of uh, this application. He's a great open sourcer with about 5,700 GitHub contribution on many projects, uh, on the most part it's from BBB integration. Uh, in fact, he told us after some life changes, uh, new work, new baby, he can no longer devote as much time for its project. You see uh, yesterday uh, somebody talking about uh, GitHub stats. You can see in these stats the day he has the baby. It stops uh, every contribution. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and in fact, uh, this might happen to many open sources. This is the giving up time, especially when projects are personal projects. Uh, it may disappear and die, or at best, it will be forked someday. But after all, this is the open source resilience, the capacity to endorse such life events and a life after all. So in such a case, unlike a simple pull request that we've planned to do uh, f uh, at the first, uh, the other way would be to clone the original repository, make a new derivative application, and then we can do as we please. Uh, but this is Nextcloud. Uh, there is an application store, and duplicating applications is a bad idea. Uh, you've probably come across applications with the same name, but derivative. As a user, this is very disappointing and a loss of time. I made myself the case with the EPUB reader duplicating application for Nextcloud, which is, I don't remember, four or five times uh, in the store. For these reasons, Klaus proposes to become main contributors and maintainer on the project, and he will just keep um, the managing of the releases. Uh, that's why we are talking here about a takeover. It's like a 400 meters relay. Uh, Klaus was running for years, and now he gives us the stick. Uh, not the stick, but a uh, stick. Uh, but when you get the stick, some things happen. First, uh, it's not like a simple contribution. You you feel the, the responsibility coming, but you feel respectful for the project, the creator, the way it was done. Second, you must respect the users too. You shall not break the UX or savagely remove features. Unlike a forking process, you inherit responsibilities. But unlike a simple peer, you get more freedom. You may bring new ideas, your point of view on the project, and what I say, you should, because you are now the responsible. So to resume, it's a balancing act between the constraints of the past and the freedom to evolve. Technically, so with this new responsibility, first we have set us for us some functional and technical guidelines. Be compliant with Nextcloud standards, back and front. It seems obvious, but it's better to say it. Allow user to avoid green light use. Uh, for those who know it, it's the administ administrative front for BBB. And so provide the maximum of BBB API features within the Nextcloud application itself. Concerning the front for the story, it's in React. So we quickly realized that there were some differences between the old Nextcloud CSS component that are defined by default on the actual view components. We know we need to re-implement of part in view. That's a sentence I heard a lot by uh, Nextcloud developers. 
but this was too much implication to get started. And that's also something I heard for the Nextcloud developers. So we simply adapt the CSS for the only component. Uh, we have found two bugs uh, also in the React use of Nextcloud. Uh, that was uh, fixed thanks to Joas Schilling for uh, its implication. On these samples were, uh, was to say we didn't only implement our feature on whatever it happened. Uh, to put some picture in this verbose presentation, I will quickly show you the features we've implemented. It's an extension of the sharing on the BB room access from Nextcloud. First, we modify the settings and you see the more Nextcloud compliant uh, look. Second, you see the list of rooms as it was. You see only the rooms where you are administrator. Now, with our contribution, you have all the rooms you've, you've been shared with. But on those you are not administrator, of course, you don't access to the modification action. On one little more thing, you may now toggle the published state of a record of the meeting. The process just began on spring and we are very close to publish the new release. I say very close because uh, it seems it's been published uh, today. Uh, so this is only uh, 300 lines on 40 uh, files of modification, but it's a good start for a takeover. Thank you.